Hi, I'm Sweet Sylvanians and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Gritters. And today I'm opening some Sylvanian clothes which I bought on Etsy. I can hand sew a little, but I'm not very fast or neat, so I'm always impressed by people who are. So these are from a shop called The Beetle That Dances. The person who runs this is based in the UK and sells handmade clothes at what I think are really affordable prices. I have bought from the shop before to get new clothes for Mr Cheshire. He is from the butler set, so came in a white shirt with a black waistcoat and trousers. The black looked too harsh in my collection and I thought it stood out in a bad way, so he now wears a lovely pink outfit, but still with a waistcoat for a nod to his original outfit. I follow the Beetle that dances on Instagram and when I saw this post I knew I wanted to get this outfit and couldn't resist buying a couple of extra things too. So this is the parcel it came in and let's open it up. The clothes are packaged really neatly in this plastic bag with a little sticker note on top. Let's get them out. And we have two little animal stickers. But the first thing to show you are these two baby outfits, which were called Tutti Fruity in the listing, and with the bright colours I can definitely see why. This pink outfit has a green collar, and it just feels like a strawberry to me, even though of course I know that strawberries are red. But this was in a pair with this yellow spotted one, which reminds me of a pineapple. It's a lovely sunny yellow colour with tiny sleeves and a brown velvety collar. These are the two babies who are going to be modelling the outfits today. On the left is Poppy Fenton from the Unsee Friends duo, and on the right is Jilly Go Lightly from the Trick or Treat Parade, who I temporarily put in the pale yellow romper rather than her ghost outfit. So let's get these two into their new clothes. First is Jilly, and I think she'll look good in pink. The outfits have a little piece of velcro at the back to keep them on. There, definitely an improvement on her original look, which was only really suitable at Halloween. And now on to Poppy. Let's get her out of the shark costume. Because the outfits are the exact right size for the babies, it is a little tricky to get it over the arms, but I also struggle with this even with the regular rompers anyway. Ta-da! She looks very cute. As well as a pineapple, I kind of think her outfit looks like Pom 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 from Sanrio. Do you see that, or is it just me? And here they are together. I think they look adorable, the other babies will definitely be jealous of their new clothes. And these were £6.25 for the pair, so a little over £3 each. Next up is this doctor outfit, which comes with three pieces. So firstly there are some surgical scrubs. This is a kind of tunic top. It's in a lovely turquoise colour and has a working pocket on the front and turning it over, like with the baby outfits, it just velcros in the back. And these are the matching trousers, made out of the same fabric. This is the front, and there's a notch at the back for a tail. The main piece is this white coat. It's so detailed, with teeny tiny buttons, a red cross, and two working pockets. Again, it is closed with velcro. And as for who should wear this, I've decided on the Easy Buy Polar Bear Father, who is called Seamus. And the scrubs are a very similar colour to his original outfit, which is nice. I do like his original overalls, but to me the style, which used for all the Easy Buy family fathers, would be better suited for children or baby figures. But anyway, let's get that off and put on his doctor's outfit. I'll put on the trousers first. Just trying to get them over his feet. One point in the Easy Buy Clothes favour is that they are easy to get on and off. But there. Now onto the top. That looks so much smarter, and I just love the colour on him. But he's not done yet. 
we now have the coat. There are quite a few layers of fabric here, so I just need to get his arms through. And now I'm going to fold down his collar as I just think that'll look better. I can tuck away the velcro for this open coat look. Or close it like this. This whole outfit was £7. But there are other medical uniforms in her shop. These scrubs come in a few different colours to choose from. And there are other scrubs with a hat and miniature equipment too. I think Seamus does need some of that equipment. I'll pick a stethoscope from my Sylvanian collection. I like this yellow one best. And that can just go under his collar. And how about a first aid box? I've put some medicine and a pair of crutches in there. And the final outfit I bought has lots of pieces. In the Etsy listing this is called the Deluxe Explorer outfit and it was £13. It comes with a shirt and trousers. The trousers are brown in the same style as the scrubs, so with that tail notch at the back. And the shirt is incredibly detailed. It's beige material with short sleeves, a collar, a tiny soft velvety tie, two pockets and a gold ribbon at the bottom with a belt buckle. And it's finished really neatly at the back too. There's also this dark green backpack with elastic straps it just folds over. I like the brighter green top stitching just to make it a little more interesting. But that's not it, there's also this bright green rolled up sleeping bag. It's held together with an elastic and there's also a spare included. The hat is a nice woven texture with a soft lining for the Sylvanian's heads. And to finish this set off is a pair of gold glasses. I think this is a single piece of wire, it's very cleverly made. And Amanda Splashy is going to get to wear this. So I'll take off her dress and put on the trousers. They fit really nicely around her tail, it wasn't squished at all. Onto the shirt. And again I'll fold down the collar. And with the collar folded down it looks properly like a scout scarf. Next I'll put on the backpack. It's very easy and just stretches around the figure. I'll also put on the glasses. The otter's ears are on the top of their heads, but I think it looks fine like this. And let's finish her off with the hat. It's a perfect fit. Oh yeah, and to put on the sleeping bag, you put the other part of this elastic band around the figure's neck. And it will look like that but I wanted to see what it looks like undone, so I'll take off the elastic and unroll it. There's a nice squashy pillow. Yeah, Amanda will definitely fit in there. And it just opens up like this. So let's set up a campsite for her. I'll put the sleeping bag in this blue tent, which is from Esme Chantilly's camping set. And the campfire is from the baby camping series of blind bags. Maybe she's taken her hat and backpack off at the end of a hike. But 
and she could be ready to go to bed so I'll get her sleeping bag out and she can't sleep with her glasses on so I'll pop them down oh she looks so snug in the sleeping bag so into the tent and perfect I can just about see her through the door and at the netted window on the side. I'll see if I can get the sleeping bag rolled up again. There we go. And pop on the elastic band. Yeah, that was really easy. Good as new. Oh, and finally I wanted to see if you can put things in the backpack, so I'll put that on Amanda again. And then I have a water bottle because it's important to stay hydrated. And yeah, that fits. I just have to put it in at a slight angle. Here are some more pictures of Dr. Seamus, just with a couple of other bits of hospital furniture. And to finish it off, let's have a final look at the two babies from the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So there we have it. I really like everything I ordered from this shop, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this clothing too. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you like Sylvanian videos, then subscribe for more.